Hi, this is Gordon Young with Maximum PC Magazine. People really like small computers. In fact, this is a super popular device. It's called the Raspberry Pi. Everybody's heard of it. $25 to $35 nets you probably one of the coolest things you've ever seen, which is a single board computer with a single core 700 megahertz uh, Broadcom processor, powered off USB, has full HDMI out, runs a lot of different distros, really neat stuff, 25, 35 bucks. But what if you actually need a little more power? That's what Intel's trying to do, we think, with its new thing called the Nets Unit of Computing. We have an early uh, review sample of this box, and I don't know if the retail boxes will come like this, but it's pretty neat. I'm going to show you one of the features of it. Inside you get a 65 watt uh, power supply. <clears throat> of course the Raspberry Pi runs off of micro USB. You need a 700 milliamp or higher uh, power supply. But you need a little more for this box because it's actually a real computer. Of course a lot of people would say a Raspberry Pi is a real computer. Uh, if you want to run something a little more heavy duty, uh, it's not really there. It's about 4x4 by maybe two inches. We unscrewed it earlier. If I can, oh, it looks like one of the screws went back in place. Come on. Come on. What's up? There we go. Inside, you can uh, add, of course, an SSD, as well as a uh, express, uh, mini PCI Express card, uh, a wireless, two SODIMs, and very interesting, You've got USB 2, two more USB 2 on this model, and HDMI, and Thunderbolt. Intel has left USB 3 off of this. Uh, I'm not really sure why, um, probably because they do want to push Thunderbolt, which is actually a very fast interface, but the peripheral, peripherals are not cheap. This device itself is also not cheap. This is $400. This is $35. Of course, this is a dual-core Core i3 processor with hyper-threading. Runs at about 1.8 gigahertz. You get no turbo boost, of course. This is a 700 megahertz single core uh, ARM processor. So it's still very much PC versus ARM all over again. Um, obviously, Raspberry Pi, a lot smaller, a lot less capability, but also a lot more money for this next unit of computing. But um, it's actually pretty neat because, you know, you could actually take this box. Well, you could take this box, hook it up to your TV, it has Intel's HD 4000 graphics, which is actually plenty for a lot of Steam games. So you could actually install Steam on here, run a lot of kind of like, you know, uh, lower, lower level Steam games, and have possibly the smallest Steam box we've seen so far, or big picture Steam box anyway. You're not going to be playing real games um, on a uh, Raspberry Pi, although people have run Quake 3 on it, which is pretty amazing considering how much it costs. So anyway... The ARM versus PC war, ARM versus x86 war continues. Uh, we're going to be reviewing this in the magazine and building, using it for a few projects. Go to MaximumPC.com and MaximumPC Magazine to see more on that.